So this is the problem number one for the topic of centroid of structural sections under chapter 6 of statics of rigid bodies. So two 12 inches, 20.7 pound channels are welded together as shown in the figure. Find the location of centroidal axis with respect to y and x axis. So this is the y and x axis. So magkaiba to sa ano ha, centroidal axis. Ang centroidal axis natin is y sub o and x sub o. So yung ating y and x axis, kahit sa naman yung nakalocate, eh, okay? So dito sa problem na to, ang ginawa ko, nilocate ko yung y and x axis sa tigdulo. And sa base and sa dulong ano, uh, side, okay, which is left side ng ating section or built up section. Ang tawag kasi rito is built up section. So if we say built up section, pinagsama-samang section siya, okay? So ngayon, yung ating y sub o and x sub o, this is the location of the centroidal axis. Uh, this is the location of the centroids. Ayan. Okay? Then, nakalagay rito, itong channel na to is 8 inches. Okay? From y axis. Okay? So, pwede rin naman natin gamitin ano eh. Uh, gawing, um, paano ba yan? Millimeters. Okay? So, Ang 8 inches, convert natin ha. So, ship, number 8 for conversion. Then, length, uh, inches to centimeter. Hmm. Sige, pwede na rin yan. Okay, so ilan yung ano, inches natin? 8 na. No? So, centimeter. Ayan, so, centimeter yan. Then, times natin ng 100. Tama pa? Uh, centi 1 centimeter to ano, millimeter. Sorry, that is 10. Ayan. So, 203.2. Ayan. Pero karaniwan kasi, tingnan mo sa table ha, yung ano natin, uh, 8. Ayan. Ayan ito, so 203. Ayan. Okay? So tama lang. So 203 na lang. Huwag natin lagyan ng decimal. So 200 millimeters. So yung 12 inches, ilan ba? Then i-multiply natin ito ng ano, 10 para makonvert agad natin ng millimeters. So, this is 304. So, gawin natin 305. Ayan. Millimeters. Okay? So, sabi niya rito, 12 inches, 20.7 pounds channel. So, para mas madalian kayo na malocate yung ating Y bar, uh, sorry, yung at, yes, yung ating Y sub O and X sub O, kailangan ilagay mo natin lahat ng X bar and Y bar ng ating section. Kagaya lamang ng ating ano, composite section. Di ba ang ginagawa natin? Uh, by area, then by area, nilalagyan natin ng kanilang respective or corresponding Y bar and X bar. So, parehas naman silang 12 inches by ano eh, uh, 12 inches, 20.7 pounds channel. So, punta tayo rito sa table na to. Ayan. So, ang area natin in millimeter square, okay, is 3890.31. Okay. So, lagay muna natin. So, ang area natin is 3890.31. 0.31 mm squared. Then, ang X bar niya is 0.7. Okay. So, dito, since ito yung kanyang white planche, okay, uh, ito, why sa boto, hindi tayo sugrado dyan na, dyan din nakalocate yung kanyang ano, ha, centroids. Hindi, okay, hindi tayo sugrado. So, gawin natin, this is um, area 1. Okay, gawin natin, ano, hmm, ito na lang, yan. So, this is area 1. Then, this is area 2. Or section 1, section 2. So, para sa, sa section 1, ito yung kanyang centroids. Ayan. Okay? So, ang centroids ito, ito yung 0.7. Okay? Inches. So, gawin natin millimeters. Ilan yan sa millimeters? Okay, 17.78. 17.78. 78 millimeters. So, para dito naman, sa ating, ano, section 2, ito. Sabi natin dito. Hindi na pressure, di ba? Pulito na lang. Ayan. Ito location ng kanyang centroids. So, this is also equivalent to 17.78 millimeters. Ayan. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Tapos, um, Ang y bar natin, di ba, is, ano, para sa zero, no? Okay, ibig sabihin, 
yung kanyang ano, yung kanyang centroids tong ating uh, section 1 is nasa gitna. Yan. Ibig sabihin, kalahati ng 305. So, kung kalahati yan ng 305, ito yung kanyang x bar. Yan. So, kalahati ng 305. Kasi di ba naka-mirror lang yan, di ba? So, 152.5. 152.5 millimeters. Okay? Then, ito naman, kalahati nung, ano, nung ating wide flash din. Kalahati ng height or depth. Okay? So, ang depth nito is also 305. Okay? So, 305 millimeters. Then, kalahati rin ng kanyang, ano, depth. Okay? Sabi natin ito yun. Okay? Yung kalahati ng ating depth. So, this is also equivalent to 152.5 millimeters. Yan. So, solve mo natin. Okay? So, solve mo natin yung, ano, yung Y bar. Yung overall Y bar. So, ito yung solve natin, ha? Yan. Okay? So, ganun pa rin. So, Y bar is equivalent to summation of all area multiplied by uh, Y1, okay? Or y, y na lang, yan. Over summation of of all area. Yan. So, dito, okay, yung area ng ating section 1, yan, uh, that is, sabihin natin, area 1. Okay? Then, multiplied by, ah, yes, di pa pati nilagay, no? Dato pala, sinamares mo natin lahat ng properties nila. Okay? So, for area 1, ang area 1 natin is, 3890.5 31 millimeter squared. Then, yung kanyang, ano, Y1. Okay? Ang Y1 nito, syempre, sabi rito, with respect to Y and X axis, di ba? Ang X axis natin is nasa baba. So, dapat, yung Y1 niya is with respect to X axis. Yan. So, ilan ba ang total height? Ang total height natin is 305 plus yung thickness nito. Yan. Okay? Okay? Ah, yes. Nakalimutan pa natin isama yung ano, ano? thickness dito. Anyway, sige, ilagay na rin natin. Okay. Ang thickness ng 10 inches is 0.24 inch. And this is 0.28 inch. Yan. Then, convert natin into millimeters. So, 0.24. Okay, 6.1. So, 6.1 millimeters and 0.28 is 7.1 okay, so 7.1 na lang din okay, ayan so ngayon, ang thickness ito is 7.1 millimeters okay, so ang total height natin is 305 plus 7.11 okay, or 7.1 okay okay So, ngayon, para makuha natin ang Y1, ima-minus natin itong 17.28, hindi ba? Kasi ito yung location ng centroids niya. Okay, so, minus 17.78. So, 294.32. So, 294 ba? Okay, 294.32. Okay, millimeters. Then, yung X1 niya. Since ito yung kanyang centroids, okay, tapos, with respect to y-axis, that is, kalahati lang ng ano, 305. And that is 152.5. So, 152.5 millimeters. Yan. Then, area 2, parehas lang naman dito, di ba? Parehas naman silang 12 inches, eh, di ba? So, this is area 2. Ayan. Okay? Then, y2. Ang y2 natin is ito, with respect to x-axis. So, that is kalahati ng one, uh, 305. So, uh, y2 natin is 152.5 millimeters. Then, yung ating x sub 2. Since ito yung centroids niya, okay? So, with respect to ano dapat? Lagatin ng ano ha? Bilog yung kanilang mga centroids. Ito yung ating centroids sa 1 or section 1. Ito na may centroids ng ating section 2. So, with respect to y-axis, dapat, ilan ba to Okay, so if this is 203 millimeters, 
Then, ang centroids ito is 70.78. So, yun yung centroids. So, yun yung centroids niya. Okay? And that is what? 203 minus 17.78. So, 185.22. So, 185.22 millimeters. Ayan. So, masod mo natin yung ating Y bar. Okay? So, Y bar natin is... A1 multiplied by Y1 plus A2. Bakit plus? Kasi wala naman tayong ima-minus na area. Paras naman silang buong area, di ba? Wala naman tayong mga spaces. So, ipag-a-add natin ang dalawang area na yan. So, plus area 2 multiplied by Y2 over area 1 plus area 2. So, masolve na natin yung ating overall Y bar. So, alpha A for area 1. Okay, multiplied by y bar 1 to 94.32 plus alpha a na lang din. Bakit? Kasi paras lang naman silang ano, 3890.31. Then multiplied by y bar 2, that is uh, 122.5. Then alpha a multiplied by 2 na lang. Okay? Kasi paras lang naman sila. So times 2 lang yan. Then, uh, pindutin natin yung calc function. Ano daw ang value ng A or alpha A? That is 3890.31. Ayan. So, 223.41. So, 223.41 millimeters. Okay. So, yan daw ang location ng ating Y bar. So, check natin ha. So, dito, okay, ang Y bar natin is mas mataas dito sa 152. Centroids ng ano? Centroids ng uh, section 2. Yan. So, tama lang yan. Yan siya. Okay? Next, solve naman natin yung X bar natin. X bar is equivalent to summation of all area multiplied by their respective um, centroids or X bar over summation of area. And that is equivalent to area 1 multiplied by X1 plus area 2 multiplied by X2 over area 1 plus area 2. So, pagta na lang natin yung, ano dito, yung y, uh, y1. Gawin natin x1. That is 152.5. Then, yung ating y, uh, x2 is 185.22. Then, um, okay, ito na yan. Okay? So, 168.86. So, 168. Wait lang. Okay, 86 millimeters. So, ito na ngayon yung overall centroids natin. Yan. CG. So, this is Y bar, which is 223.41 millimeters. And, this is the X bar. Yan. Ang X bar natin ay 168 .86 millimeters. Okay? So, dapat lagpas pa para dito. Yeah. Anyway, hindi naman, ano kasi, nakaskill yung ating drawing. So, okay lang yan. Okay? So, yan. So, ganun lang ang pag-solve ng centroids ng composite section natin. So, una nga, uh, ilocate mo natin lahat ng centroids ng kada section, saka natin, ano, uh, itabulate dito. Then, madali na lamang yung ano natin, um, pag-solve ng Y bar and X bar. Okay? So, this is our problem number one for centroid of structural section under chapter six of status of rigid bodies. So, thank you for watching. Bye!